Good morning, friends. I have the computer up because I thought we could watch this first. So I'm going to turn mine around so we can see it. So, well, so you can see it, okay? These guys have been watching it. So you can have another way of saying the songs, the days of the week. Can you see that okay? Yep. Ready? Sunday. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. I just wanted you to see the days of the week. And then we, now we can look outside and see what kind of day it looks like it's going to be. You know, can you see way back there? Do you see the sun? I don't see the sun. So, good morning. It's Miss Joanne. I just, that was coming on, so I wanted to get that on real quick. I might have to turn that volume down. We'll see. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Just trying to plug my computer in. There we go. So, how are you, my friends? I want to show you something I got this weekend. These guys love it. We're going to... Miss Cindy has a way to get a little notch in there and get a, a switch interrupter in there so then they can use the hand switch to run it. But I don't want to put it right towards my... Oh, watch. Oh. I don't want to put it right towards my computer and get it all over. Look, can you see the bubbles? So that's going to be fun. I can't wait to be using it more. Especially, it'd be nice to be able to use it outside so we don't have to worry about floors getting soapy and stuff like that. Let me just go turn that down briefly. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go over and turn the volume down a little bit because that's all I could hear. And I didn't know if it was the same way for you. Anyways, oh, this is way off because we haven't been in school in a while. So this is way off. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not switch over. I did not get the stuff. I oh, will do that one more week then. It's been a crazy morning already, so I apologize if I'm not quite uh, to par. Oops. Get over here. My chart film. So, yesterday was Sunday. So we just did our song Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if yesterday was Sunday, what's the day that comes after Sunday? Sunday, Monday. So today is Monday. Yay! And tomorrow will be, what's the day after Monday? Uh-oh. It's the one day, oh no, there it is. Today's the day, one day I'm missing out of here. Sunday, Monday, t. Which one says t, t, t? Today is Tuesday. Which one would that be? Would that be this one? Does that say t, t, Tuesday? Or does that say t, t, Tuesday? Remember, t, t, t. What letter says t? Every letter makes a sound. The T says T. So which one of these start with the letter T? Which one, which one is the letter T? Is this the letter T or is this the letter T? Ta-ta, T, ta-ta, T? This is an S. It says S, 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 S. So this is T, Tuesday. T says T. 
And we looked out the window to see what it looks like outside. And it definitely did not look like this. I didn't see any of that, did you? No, there wasn't much sun out there at all. In fact, let's see if you can see what it is. Uh, well, it looks like it has a little bit of a wind, but that's not the, the most prominent weather feature today. It may do this later, rain, but it's not raining right now. I don't know if it's cold enough to snow or not. I hope not. So then we have these two left. One says partly cloudy and one says cloudy. And the difference is partly cloudy, it shows some sun. But I don't see any sun out there. So that means today is cloudy. Yay! I don't know why I said yay. We had nice sunny days Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, which is great. So today is Monday, the weather is cloudy, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. So let's see our days of the week. Our number, we need. Not our days, we need our number. So I replaced some of the old holidays um, that we had up there with the numbers. Except for one for today, because today is actually, we celebrated President's Week last week on, on the 15th, but today is actually Washington. He's the first first president of the United States, and we talked about that. Some of them have, um, this is called Mount Rushmore, where they have big statues carved out of the rock, big faces of four people, and George Washington is one of them. So let's see. I, I don't have my pointer right now because Mr. Omari's busy with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Woo! Take a breath. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. What do you think would come after twenty-one? Twenty-two. So our, oh, I didn't take this off. So our sentence for the calendar today is, today is Monday, February 22nd, 2021, or 2021. Wow, this month of February, look at it. It's almost all gone. That went by really, really fast. Pretty soon, it'll be spring, yay! We're looking forward to that. So I didn't change this over, so we'll still, that's okay, we can still work on H, the letter H. Can you think of anything that starts with H? Because H says, <laughs> how about happy? Mmm, that's one that they have up there, happy. Horse, they have that up there. House. Hat that you wear on your head. And things you carry around with you all the time. Your hands, they all start with H. And our number is seven. So let's count to seven. I, my numbers are underneath. I'm gonna move this for a little bit because I have this up on a box to make it easier. Or well, maybe I don't need to. Try it and see. Maybe we don't need it on the box. Let's bring this back over. Oh no, that works out. I don't know why I thought I had it up, had to have it up on a box. But we're gonna look at the number seven. Oh, I thought that was all here. Well, we'll look at them through this. Oh, it's over there. That's okay. We'll look this way. So to go to seven, we have one. Two, I'm not going to be able to hold them all up, but let's see, well, maybe. Two, three, I don't know, guys, now it's getting tricky. <laughs> I think it was wishful thinking when I said maybe. Three, then we have four. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Five. Six. 
And Mr. Number Seven. Hi, Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, we're getting up into higher numbers. And then we'll start all over again to make sure you remember them. So this week, the curriculum on um, our new CU curriculum, the story was about monarch migration. And they'll explain that all, because I always go into things and then I end up having to explain them again later for you. But you know what? I did not print... Yes, I did. Let me go get that off my desk. Good timing. Here you go, my friend. I just had to fix the computer because it's on YouTube right now and it had gone to a music video. And it was okay because it was, a, it was a, a completely clean, it wasn't something that kids shouldn't see, but it's not what they really want to see. They want to see their kids' music. So I forgot to cut the definitions out, but I have them right now. And I didn't have a chance to look up other books, but I will today, later on. But I like to have other things to read about our topic. But what we are going to read about are the monarch butterfly. It's a kind of butterfly with big orange and black wings. Because different butterflies have different color wings. Some are little, but the monarch is big. Some are little, and some are big. And we're going to talk about north on our compass. North. We live in North America. We're above other things. The compass points directly opposite of south. Yep, there's south and there's north, west, and east. That's north. Ah, uh, spring. Maybe they're hoping that if they do this monarch butterfly thing now, it'll bring spring. And that's the season after winter and before summer. And that's where it's starting to get warm. Trees are starting to bud, if you can see that. Leave, little leaf buds are coming out. Some early flowers are starting to pop out of the ground already. It, it starts warming up. Animals come out of, of hibernation and babies are born. It's a great season. Migration, which is probably why I think I'll never leave New England, is because unless my daughter does, because I love spring and I love fall. I like all the season changes, but I prefer seasons like spring and fall because it's not too hot. And it's just beautiful. And you don't have to shovel it like winter. And this is migration. A long trip made by groups of animals at certain times of the years. So what they're showing is the monarchs are going to be way down here and they fly all the way up over to here. They go north. We're over here in New England. So those are some of the words we're going to read or have in our story today. Hi, Omari. Hi, Josiah. Monarch migration. Monarchs fly north each spring. Cool. A monarch is a kind of butterfly. Remember when we said it was black and orange? Butterflies are so beautiful. Just kind of flit around, landing on flowers so they can get some nectar. Yeah, Omari. Hi. Oh, no. I'm going to have to pause this again for a second. Sorry, everyone. It's hard because Miss Julie got pulled to a different classroom before the students came in, so she could be pulled. So it's just me, and it's 
hard to film and everything and take and keep these guys occupied at the same time. If I had known, I could have made the film earlier, but I did not. So anyways, let's get back to our monarchs. They go on a long trip. The trip starts in Mexico. I guess I need a little world map. Not a huge one, because we have a big map of the United States over there, but it's big. The trip ends in the U.S., that's us, and Canada. And that's our, the country, our neighbor to the north. So Canada, United States, Mexico, for how they go in direction of north to south. The long trip is called a migration. They have to come up with words for everything. A group studies the migration. So a group of people study it. This group is named Journey North. Well, that makes sense because the butterflies are on a journey north. They're migrating north. Hi, guys. Josiah. Oh, my. People can help journey north. Oh, let's see how we it might be able to help. They can go to the Journey North website. They can report when they see monarchs. So you can go to this website, and when you see a monarch, you let them know so they'll know they're up in this area. That's just a little about it. We'll learn more about it later. But you know what comes next now? Oh, Crazy jokes. First we have our knock knock. Can you hear that? I know it sounds loud, but it's probably just inside my head. Knock knock. Who's there? Fly. They mean like fly. Like birds fly, planes fly. That's what I want one of my superpowers to be. I can fly. Okay, so knock knock. Who's there? Fly. Fly who? Fly are we doing, fly are we going north? Instead of why are we going north, they said, fly are we going north? Ha 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 you gotta laugh, it's a joke. And now we have our real corny joke, because that's the corny knock knock, now it's the corny joke. I have a joke, tell me, why did the kid throw butter? Hmm. Amari, why did the kid throw butter? That's not a very good idea. I don't know why. To see butterfly. Ha 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 They're so, so silly. But here's some of our pictures about our monarch migration. And I'm just going to use a yellow marker this time. Did we talk about north? Yes, because the butterflies fro fly from Mexico, which is south, all the way up through the United States and into Canada. They fly north, so we definitely saw this one. Oh, can you see? I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of light. There. Trip. Well, they said that's what migration is. It's a trip. So we said yesterday, they don't pack... They're talking about a trip for us with our suitcases and maps and everything, but butterflies don't need any of that stuff. Monarch. Monarch butterflies, that's what our story was about, their migration. Helmet. Do we read about helmet? I don't think butterflies need helmets, and I don't think we learned about helmets. How about spring? Hmm. Let's see. Spring, the season after winter and before summer when it's starting to get warm out and everything's starting to grow again. So, yeah. How about wire? No, there's no wire in our story.
So I already x out one answer, so it would make it easier. What is this paper about? Was it about the great backyard bird count? Well, you know, I could see how you could make think it was that because we're, that way we were talking about birds counting them that are outside and they fly, they migrate. But we were talking about the monarch migration, the butterfly migration. So that's what our story is about. What is, what is a kind of butterfly? A blue jay, is that a butterfly? Well, it can fly, but it's a bird. How about the monarch? Is that a type of butterfly? Do you see it okay? What am I doing wrong? I'm holding the paper funny. Yep, that's our butterfly. And then they wanted to know when. I crossed out Christmas because, oh no, I crossed out summer break. Sorry. Do they fly in Christmas time in the winter? Or do they fly in the spring when everything's starting to grow again? They fly in the spring. That's part of their spring ritual. Spring. Oh, I love spring. You know, because we can start going back outside again, which is always nice, especially now with the still having all the restrictions because of COVID, we'll be able to go outside and do activities outside and go for walks out again. I, I'm so excited. It's coming. If you want to go somewhere, where would you like to go? Hmm, think about it. Where, where do you like to go? Do you like to go to an amusement park where you get to ride rides? You guys probably haven't been to too many amusement parks. The beach, well, we live in Rhode Island, and there's lots of beaches, lakes, or the ocean. So you could go there, up in the mountains, go for hikes up in the mountains. A zoo, I love Roger Williams Zoo. Or somewhere else, if I had to pick out of there, oh my God, that's a hard one. I don't care about amusement parks, I wouldn't care about that. I like going to the mountains. But I think I like the beach and the zoo best. I know, you know, I guess, I guess we can pick two. Those are Miss Joanne's choices, but you can have whatever cho choice you like. Maybe in, in warmer weather when COVID restrictions let up, we can go to the zoo on a field trip. That's where I would go if I had a choice. So... I don't have a lot of butterfly things yet because I didn't realize it was butterflies until I came into school today and looked it up because my printer at work, home wasn't working all that well. So even though it's brand new, I didn't want to do it. So I'm going to start because we always run out of time to do all the things that I, I make to go along with certain days. So I'm going to start with our Valentine. I, hello. I'm going to start with our shamrocks with our St. Patrick's Day stuff. That's not till next month, but I have a lot of stuff, and I, I just hate not using it. I mean, I keep it for next year, but I want to use it. And this is just going to be a simple counting. And I wanted to have all my numbers out here. I don't know. Let me get there in here. Here we go. We have our numbers here. I just got to count them so I can find the numbers. Oh, I'm just finding some of the lower ones so we have them. One's a high, high, high number. All right. So I have some there, so now we can count them. So let's start with this box right here. Can you see okay? I just want to make sure that it's not too much glare for you. How's that? So in this box right here, those are shamrocks. So those are associated with Ireland and St. Patrick's Day. And we'll learn more about that. Let's count how many we have in this box. Oh, there we go. No glare. One, two, three. 
three, four, count with me, five, six, seven, eight, woof, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of shamrocks. That's a high number. We said it was number ten. Do you remember what ten looks like? We haven't really worked with ten a lot. But I have one of these is ten. Whoops. Now hold on to it, Miss Joanne. Which one is 10? 10 is one, zero. That's how you write the number 10. The other one we have right here is one, nine. It's 19. Which one's one, zero? Is that one, zero? Is that 10? Or is that one, zero? 10. There's 10. The one and the nine are 19. So let me see, do I have a darker? I have one right here. So let's write the number 10. He said it was one, zero. Good job. Proud of you. I always am though. Now let's count these. One, two, just a second. I got to go see what Mr. Omari wants, okay? Let me put you on pause again. Okay, we're all set. So, we were in the middle of start. well, we were starting to count this grouping of shamrocks. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after five? One, two, three, four, Five. What's after five? Is it this number? Or is it this number? Which one's after five? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. So which one is six? Is this say six? Or is this the number six? Six. That's what comes after five. Oh, Mari, what happened? You dropped it again? We're going to skip this one for right now because that's got many, many, many. Let's go to this one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have to find the number eight. Okay, honey, I'm almost there. Now we're looking for the number eight. Is this eight? Or is this eight? Okay, Omari, I'm looking for the number eight. There's the number eight. So that's what goes over here. I think Omari had just about as much as this as he can take today. So let me show you this one. And that's our lesson for today. We talked about monarch butterflies. We counted some shamrocks. We got to see the weather. We got, oh, you know what I wanted to show you? Just okay, Omari, just a second, sweetheart. I wanted to show you this, too. Maybe there'll be a migration thing on YouTube, on my phone. As soon as I can find YouTube on my phone. There it is. All righty. Well, I have some ads up right now, so we're waiting for them to go by. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. So now they're all see. Oh, there's a hummingbird. Looks like it's a like drone. Hummingbirds feed Look at them all. So our spy isn't seen as a threat. While resting, they cluster together to conserve precious warmth. But as the winter ends, the sun warms their fragile wings in the very heart of it. So cool. I'd like to end on that note because that was fascinating. I'll see everybody tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Bye, Jeremiah. Bye, Caitlin. Bye, Lucas.
And you guys can say goodbye to Omari and Josiah and Miss Joanne. Oh, Miss Julie wanted me to make sure I said hi. She's here today, but she had to cover a different room. So she wanted to say hi. And I will let you go now. Have a great day. Bye.